just listen to that music it says it all doesn't it look at that doesn't that just scream out 70s yeah that's 72 d cosworth yeah it reminds me of marlboro cigarettes james bond and uh, that era uh, so we're going to be taking this and it is a beast i mean just look at the graphics No, I could talk about the graphics all day long, but the actual lighting is probably some of the best I've seen in the game. And it's running at nearly 50 frames a second with, uh, I think I'd put 20 cars on. And just look at the detail, you can see the smoke, there's, uh, you know, even the cockpit. I mean, you can read every single dial on there, and when we get to speed there's that beautiful um, depth of field effect. But even the chrome around the actual um, accelerator, you can see it. It glints in the sun and it's reflective, uh, even the mirrors and everything. Um, it really is an amazingly beautiful game. I've actually put a bit of a 70s filter on this just to give it that extra vibe. Uh, this vehicle um, it has got a lot of power as you can see there. I'm squirming away trying to control this thing. It, um, it feels like a large go-kart which is probably what it is but it's got it's it's hard to say until you actually get in the game and try this it's got a very very distinctive feel and that's one of the brilliant things about this game as well is that the vehicles that they all do feel completely different and they all handle completely different and over Gran Turismo 6 a Cosworth sounds nothing like a BMW even if they're in the same category same power band um, every vehicle sounds incredible and the more I play of this game, the more I want to play of it. And this is only an alpha, which is, is, is just absolutely fantastic. see here I'm using helmet cam I prefer to use this view in all my racing games on whether it's the ride or the motorbike one car games uh, it's just much more immersive and I'm actually playing this with a 360 pad now my wheel has actually arrived it's the T500 RS and I've had a little play with it and wow it makes a big difference um, much more controllable especially the F1 cars when you can set the um, degree of angle for turning it's just a lot more precise it takes a little bit of getting used to my lap times are a lot slower because it's a completely new control method um, oh dear get the ambulance out yes I've actually got that and I've also got what's called a butt kicker now the butt kicker literally kicks your butt it attaches to your seat and it vibrates from the low audio and not every game is compatible but this game is out of the bat I mean I don't know if there's anything in this game that isn't supported or formatted they seem to have thought of everything and it's another reason why this is definitely on my list if you're thinking of getting a racing game and you're not sure about this versus a set of Corsa well I've got a set of Corsa the official one and um, I was playing it tonight jump back onto this alpha and ugh, it's light and day I just enjoy project cars so much more the audio graphics handling everything even in its state it is buggy it crashes but you know it's alpha that's what, what do you expect i don't even think we're in beta phase yet um a lot of these videos are from quite a while ago when i recorded them so i'm doing a little bit of an extra voice over the top but anyway if you've enjoyed this video let me know um i'm going to be doing some more including racing in the rain which we've all seen and um yeah can't wait to get on the track and play some more so what does that tell you about a racing game bloody get it if you're not sure get it honestly it really does look as good as you've seen in the trailers anyway i've been para yorkshire idiot playing project cars and i shall see you in some more videos coming soon bye, -bye.